When you look at this image here, understand that this is, of course, a simplified way to look at things, but ultimately this is how it works. China wants oil from Russia. It exchanges its currency for US dollars. It gives US dollars to Russia and China receives its oil. But what is happening today in many instances is that you have China dealing with Russia all by themselves, not going ahead and doing this whole exchange business. They are simply going around it. And this whole system that they've set up is one of the ways that they'll be able to do that. Things, money doesn't move in and out of the system yet very easily, but give it a break. It just began. Somebody else who tried to skirt around this system didn't end up in such a good situation, okay? So this gentleman right here wanted to shatter the dominance of the greenback in the Middle East by introducing a gold back dinar, but failed. China has a chance to finish what he started. Ideas related to oil trade and currencies other than the dollar arose more than once. Some of them were severely suppressed by the United States. One individual here proposed the introduction of a regional currency, the gold dinar, and trading oil in the Middle East in this currency. Imagine the waves that this would have caused. Along with the Chinese role in the global economy and the growing interest in the renminbi, China is also protected by this shield. It can afford to try to shatter the monopoly in oil trade. This will give even more weight to the Chinese yuan. China's economy is the world largest uh, for their consumer, uh, consuming of oil and consequently uh, all the world producers of raw materials will have to reckon with the strategy of the Chinese authorities. Things have certainly changed, okay? I don't want to take too much of your time here. One more article. Crude oil exports implemented via Eastern Siberia Pacific Ocean oil pipeline may substantially benefit from the yuan-denominated oil futures launched by China last month. Certainly, it is more beneficial for China to make settlements in the national currency, the national futures launch is a step in this direction. As I've said before, it's not as if, okay, they launched it, that's it, it's over. No, it's a step in that direction. The AIIB is there, you have the Petro Yuan there, they're making every decision possible and they're going for it. This instrument will make possible to form contracts on its basis and perform hedging. All right. At current import volumes, the contract grades could account for about um, $32 billion. It's going to help, essentially, China internationalize their currency, become more familiar internationally. It's a good step for them. Now, what that means for the U.S. dollar, not as good. This is going to be an issue, I believe, in the next crisis. Because what happens, I find, at least in since 2000 and then 2008, and then we had sort of the euro crisis, and then we have the future one that we'll, we will encounter, ultimately, everything is going to fall down. Okay, all countries are going to be weak for a period of time, but then they will rise up. Which country rises faster than the others and which one will gain more dominance remains to be seen. So we will see things that maybe we weren't used to before. The dominance of one particular nation or one currency may not be able to you know, be at the same level it once was. So we need to understand how that is. There will be a crisis that will unfold and ultimately what comes up out of the ashes will certainly be different than what we experienced before. So you need to be ready, you need to be prepared. And I will 
leave it at that. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up. When you give me a thumbs up, it helps to support the channel. So I do appreciate that very much. And last but not least, if you found this video informative, I know that you will find my books, The Money GPS, and my newer release, Global Economic Collapse, even more informative. If you want to see the diagrams, you want to see inside these books, you can do that at Amazon. The diagrams are specifically in the first book. And in my second book, I get into familiar topics, but I also talk about becoming self-sufficient, reducing your monthly expenses, and uh, some other topics there. So definitely check that out. Links are in the description below. Take care.